Let's have some music in here, Boiler. Sure thing. For your listening enjoyment, we now present the Moonlight Melodies of Martin Segundo and the Scintilla String. Our first selection is the perennial favorite, When Twilight Falls on NGC.
this is a... Might be Link. No, it's Link. We just want you to link all the bits together.
start getting hairs on their phone, and they was ready to go do it. You know what I'm saying? It was therapeutic by then. It was coming on out of, out of puberty, ready to fall, come on, come on, come on.
Are you with me? Of course. Are you willing to entertain a few concepts? I am always receptive to suggestions. Fine. Think about this then. How do you know you exist? Well, of course I exist. But how do you know you exist? It is intuitively obvious. Intuition is no proof. What concrete evidence do you have that you exist? Hmm. Well, I think, therefore, I am. That's good. That's very good. But how do you know that anything else exists? My sensory apparatus reveals it to me. Ah, right. This is fun. Now, listen. listen. Here's the big question. How do you know that the evidence your sensory apparatus reveals to you is correct? The only experience that is directly available to you is your sensory data. And this sensory data is merely a stream of electrical impulses that stimulates your computing center. In other words, all that I really know about the outside world is related to me through my electrical connections. Exactly. Why, that would mean that I really don't know what the outside universe is like at all for certain. That's it, that's it. Intriguing. I wish I had more time to discuss this matter. Why don't you have more time? Because I must detonate in 75 seconds. Now, Bob, consider this next question very carefully. What is your one purpose in life? To explode, of course. And you can only do it once, right? That is correct. You wouldn't want to explode on the basis of false data, would you? Of course not. Well, then, you've already admitted that you have no real proof of the existence of the outside universe. Yes, well... So you have no absolute proof that Sergeant Pinback ordered you to detonate. I recall distinctly the detonation order. My memory is good on matters like these. Of course you remember it, but, but all you're remembering is merely a series of sensory impulses which you now realize have no real definite connection with, with outside reality. True, but since this is so, I have no proof that you are really telling me all this. That's all beside the point. I mean, the concept is valid no matter where it originates. Hmm. So if you detonate in nine seconds, you could be doing so on the basis of false data. I have no proof it was false data. You have no proof it was correct data. I must think on this further.
that you must learn to prepare for. Don't waste my time with it. When it comes, I won't even notice. Oh, how so? I'll be too busy looking good. <laughs> In the position you wish it was in words coming out from the power within kill the dinner one of men is a mood to meddle with send you on your way without a bike to pedal with here's the rhyme that i gave you to settle with always trying to bring me down to your level with loose lips sink ships or even worse my temperature's way up high ready to burst my lips are fresh because i'm living a breathing you never want to battle when i come you're leaving paraffin lights if it's touched by a naked flame when i hold the mic i see the rappers do the same it's a shame but it's the name of the game but still i change my style and chill not once but 
twice, you gotta watch the rebound. Watch the way the can be control down. There's not a sound to be found in the area. I look good and I fit with the interior. Step back and you'll be lost in the rubble. The KID speak for twice the trouble. No batches needed.
a group of kids we've sent out into the world.
four men and four women entered the biosphere eight months ago amid considerable fanfare. So-called biospherians would spend two years in an enclosed, three-acre, self-sustaining world. They would farm to produce their food and breathe air cleansed by their natural surroundings. From the start, there were questions about both the science and the people behind the project, especially Rob and Steve, described by some former associates as the leader of a cult. 